Talal cleared PMP yesterday with all about target. Now Talal joined my batch group and it was an interesting trio. He and his two friends joined in the same batch group. Actually, Talal was the one who forced or took others along with them. And interestingly, Talal is the first who cleared PMP. It was a very interesting journey with multiple ups and downs in the journey. Of course, being a business owner and working as an entrepreneur, plus doing so many things, takes time, plus working all time is an important thing. So Talal basically cleared PMP from Lahore, but he's basically back from the beautiful valley of Kashmir. And to be very precise, he is more of towards from Mirpur. Talal is a project manager, scrum master, and a business analyst for working in this home. So Talal, first of all, congratulations on clearing PMP. This is a big achievement, finally. He's a software Thank engineer. You. So Talal, how do you feel now? First, of, first thing first. I feel great, Tommy. I feel great and um, I am really thankful to you that you helped me so much. Even at the last day, at the day of paper, I was very concerned that uh, is it all okay and would I pass? Though 80 to 90% I was uh, thinking that yes, I would pass, but there is always a chance as well. And the paper was difficult as well. It wasn't easier. <laughs> yeah, but Talal, what happens is that we cleared the exam overall above target. So let's talk about the most important thing first. How did you manage time? Yeah, as you told me that the first section should be done in 80 minutes. So I had that target in my mind. And uh, I was able to manage it 84 to 85 minutes overall. So first, after that, first section 84 minutes? Yep. Why we, 84 minutes. Why we couldn't do in 80 minutes? We agreed that if we yeah. are 80, we need to hurry up. So what happened there? There was no chance to read the last line and select the option. If I would have done it, it would have been a, just a guesswork without any understanding. The questions were not of that type. One thing, the other thing was that there were five questions that I had selected to review again at the end of the uh, 60 questions. So I had to review them. Uh, by the way, as you told me that the first section is very difficult. So the first 10 questions were Punch. just out of, you know, <laughs> Punch punching the punches. Punch so, the uh, first I saw that and I was thinking that, man, it's going to blow me away. But uh, fortunately, I done it. Okay. So 84 minutes in the first section. What about the second? Uh, yeah. When I came back from the break of 10 minutes, uh, I had taken, you know, uh, some, chocolate as well. I drank water. I was easy. I had uh, recalculated in my head that I would be doing that in 70 to 72 minutes maximum. So uh, the second part took me somewhat 73 minutes. Maximum. 70, 73 minutes for the second part. So actually you compensated like you put 84 minutes there. So almost two minutes you recovered there. So you almost have 70 to 73 minutes for the last section. Right? For sure. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So for the for the last section, um, uh, were you able to complete the exam? Uh, I completed the exam some seven minutes before the time. Mm -hmm. So if I can, uh, say, I, first mm -hmm. section was very difficult. Second was on average, and third was comparatively easy. This was the how. It yeah, happened. and there there were some twenty to twenty five questions for which I was very very quick. I did that those questions in I think in maybe eight minutes. <clears throat> Okay, let's talk about the questions in the each section. Uh, how much the questions were? How many lines were the questions? One line, two liner, five liner. How many lines were the questions? Mostly they were like four, four to five lines. Mostly, mostly four to five liner question. All the questions were in the first section only. All the, till the end. But there were some questions as well. Maybe seven to eight, which were just one liner. Maybe maybe ten to four questions. And there were some. Uh, two liner as well, maybe five to six, mostly four to five. Yes. And there was very less chance to just select the last line and adopt the option. 
it yeah. was a difficult exam. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That's an interesting thing to, when you put in this context. How many drag and drop were there? Fortunately, they were just two. Okay. Okay. So, uh, were they easy? One was very easy. The other one was a little, you know, you have to think as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, which area was most dominated in the exam? Uh, process, agile process, all that stuff. Stakeholders was also there. A lot of questions. Uh, any formula question or critical path question in the exam? Not at all. Zero. Zero question. So that thing, that formula. And interestingly, you wanted to have some formula question. As you were saying that... Uh, uh, if the formula comes, at least I know my answer is right for sure. Ah, so, there is a calculator as well. I saw that in the exam. Yeah. So it was a short shot, but there were no. <clears throat> so how was the basically screen? You were very worried about the screen of the uh, computer. So how was the screen for your eyes? Very. It was okay? Very comfortable. Very comfortable. It was comfortable. Yeah. Uh, you, you utilize both of the breaks. How important those breaks were in your point of view? Very, very important. At the first break, I uh, mentioned earlier that I uh, took a chocolate and drink some water in the second break. I took tea as well. Uh, so I was very charged, very charged. And I think that can be the real. Yeah, where, where you took tea? I asked the institute. It was ICT Institute in Lahore. I asked the so I started, can I have tea? They said, sure, why not? Uh, so, that's, that's something we can <laughs> that the students can yeah. ask. Uh, because I have given one exam there, I guess program management I gave in ICT. So yeah, so I never asked you for the tea, but that's a good uh, add-in that we can put it specially for people. If they can ask in the centers, that is something a good thing. Okay, so uh, how many questions are with multiple options? Single option we know, multiple options. How many questions were there? I think... Uh... Maximum 12 to 14. Not, not more than that. Okay. Not more than that. Achha, talal, and especially, especially there was just one or two questions with the three options to select. Otherwise, there was uh, choose two options. Yeah. You're going to ask me something. I'm going to mm -hmm. ask a very interesting question to you. And the interesting question is this. If someone prepared only stakeholder, communication, team, agile, and maybe risk, and they do the question for that, prepared how to solve the question. Can they pass exam? Yes, there is a chance. There is a great chance. So how much probability but, you will? And see, see uh, there were a lot of questions regarding quality as well. Uh, and some hybrid section as well. A little bit of waterfall as well. So uh, I would say probability is some eighty-five percent, maybe. If he can master, if he can master this topic, uh, this can. If they, they can master this and read very analytically the questions mm -hmm. and stick to the option uh, by reading all the options and doing the elimination technique, mm -hmm. uh, then there is a great chance. Yes. Because students do come; they want to clear in seven days and things like that. Uh, so I'm always looking to uh, make the journey shorter. Uh, unfortunately, we could not do with you uh, the journey shorter, but uh, it ended on a high note. I'm very happy. I still remember the day you joined. Uh, you were among those few people who came LinkedIn to me long time back. And so, yeah, I'm very happy when you uh, you said that I see all the people clearing. I want to see, can I clear in that or not? So I'm happy. About yeah, yeah, I, I remember as well. I, I asked you if I can do that in a month. You told me that if you follow me the road, if you follow the roadmap, then yes. And I'm very happy. I always say that if you follow my roadmap, because uh, <laughs> life, life happens, things do happen, but that's the beauty of the life. Okay, Talal, I'm giving you two minutes. Talk to the people and explain that how they can become PMP in your way. Yeah. So uh, as, as you mentioned, I took the classes a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that when you have taken the classes, then read all the material, uh, all the material, all the journey, all the stuff. And then whenever you take a mock, then do uh, write the lessons as well. That if you don't know something, uh, if there is some confusion as well, you, you, you need to write that thing and then read uh, that thing as well. 
if you keep on doing all this stuff in uh, two to three months, I think you will be really in such a position that you can uh, ace it. After that, you just have to follow uh, whatever you give. Uh, I mean, whatever Amir Ali gives. Uh, he has uh, a lot of the questions from the question bank, which will really help you uh, to sort out your um, you know, problems and you will not be that much confused as you would be in the beginning. So uh, I think uh, the only uh, method to ace it is to uh, remove all the confusion. Thank you, Tla. Thank you very much. And you know my mantra, and you know it very well. Each one, teach one, and you have to apply this mantra because you have three friends in line, and I hope uh, you can work with them and uh, they can also become PM and we can record their journey. I really want that Asad and Badr both clear the exam and we will record it like all three of you and I'll record the combined journey or maybe Ahmed Bilal can also be added into that. A good idea, good idea. I am sure that these guys are going to do that in, in two months maximum. Sure. I want to share something here. Uh, from the what? lesson learned point of view, although this guy took a longer time, the lesson learned he did, they were amazing. So he was struggling with the questions. He said, what, what should I do? I said, give me, send me a lesson line. And he shared me a lesson line. He said, now what I should do? I said, have you revised your lesson line? And he took a break of one month because of something. I said, no, I said, go through your lesson line. They are beautiful. Everything that you need to learn about PMP are in your lesson line. And he did that and suddenly score jumped to the roof. And that is one of the way. And that's what Talal was saying. With that, Lal, it has been an honor to work with you, and I'm very happy that finally you become PM. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum and bye.